Hello and welcome to Let's Make Tracks. In this video, we're going to be taking a good look at Hornby's TT120 08 Shunter in BR Blue livery. Okay, so here we go. BR08 Gronk. Pull her out, take a look. Oh, rip it off. <laughs> that was silly. Right. So, comes with the standard instructions. Tells you how to put all the pieces on. More on that in a minute, and how to put in your DCC chip and obviously take the shell. Now, when I started preparing for this video, I actually tried to apply the detail pack and these front cables here, I don't know if you can see them from there, I might have to put up a photo, but they're incredibly fiddly to put in. So I was using a pair of tweezers and what's happened is, I was on the back actually, was trying to put the cables and the brake pipe in there and all of a sudden it went bing, and it was never to be seen again well this happened twice actually the first time I actually ran a hoover round with a sock in the end and I managed to rescue one of the pipes but um, as uh, ignorance would have it I did the exact same thing again bing, and this time it is truly gone and same with the other one bounce and these things are tiny and my carpet in here is pretty dark anyway so I'm thinking they didn't land on the carpet because the hoover trick didn't work again but I contacted Hornby now this has nothing to do with the fact that I'm filming it for a review or anything I didn't mention it but they sent me an additional bag of uh, bits so I'm going to attach them real quick and then we're going to get down on the light box. Okay, so here we are down on the light box. Got the 08 obviously spinning around there. So I have managed to install all the detail pack on the front and the back. We'll have a better look at that in a second. So let's start with the front end. So the radiator grills are all nicely molded, get some good weathering powder in there. The lamps are I believe they're part of the mould, not separately fitted, but I could be wrong, and they've been separately painted. So down on the buffer beam, obviously we've got all the um, bits and pieces from the detail bag now fully installed. Um, I have not put the coupling hook on there because it just seems a bit big, in all honesty, and it would um, get in the way of the, uh, the actual coupling, so I've decided to just avoid them altogether. Moving to the back. Same thing really, all the pipes supplied now, I uh, have a tiny, teeny, teeny drop of glue, super glue, um, on the socket to stop them coming out because I really don't want to have to put these back in again. Uh, same again, the coupling hook has been omitted because it it's oversized and the actual coupling would get in the way. But uh, speaking of couplings, um, the OH Shunter obviously does come with couplings at either end. So shunting is possible and uh, forward and reverse workings as is tradition that you would expect an 08 to do. So that's an improvement on the Pacifics. So taking a look at the underneath real quick. So you can see both the couplings there on the pivots that they have installed. And uh, just while we're under here, um, there's uh, pickups on all six of the wheels. Okay, so moving back to the uh, decoration of the locomotive. Um, all the decals have been applied very nicely. They are all legible, although my camera is not picking up everything. Um, I think the only one that I'm struggling to read is this little black uh, box down here. I think it's the tops. I'm, I'm not 100%. D 
diesels aren't my uh, aren't my main focus. So I'm I enjoy the 08 Gronks, but uh, I'm not an expert. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not an expert. That's all I'm going to say. So moving back towards the cab, uh, there is detailing inside on the control panel, although they probably could have got away with not doing this because, I mean, tr me trying to get this photo right here was incredibly difficult to get the right angle. So it's nice that they've done it, but they probably could have put this effort in somewhere else that was more obvious. Uh, let's see, also on the cab, we have a whistle installed on the right side. And the front windows are also in the down position. And we've got the vent on top of the cab roof, which is also in the open position. And that's a molded vent. Same with the windows. You can't change their position. It is what it is. The coupling rods on the side are prototypical in that the middle axle is driven by the cog that we saw underneath. And the wheels at either end are literally driven by these yellow rods which is nice if you remember back to the really old versions of the 08 models where it looked like they just put the shell on top of a pannier tank or another standard 060 and they've gone all out with these rods here with the um outside rodding i'm not sure if that's the correct term and again i'm not an 08 expert but i really appreciate that that feature has carried through into the tt version of this model i always appreciated moving parts on locomotives let's say that so obviously the 08 is my favorite diesel because of these these exact moving parts okay so i think that's all the um detailing on the 08 covered i mean the the decals are pretty much the same both sides as the only real difference is the whistle and uh, some of the molding those boxes again i don't know what they're referred to as but you've got more on the left than you have on the right and uh, just while we're on the table, the locomotive weighs in at 48 grams. The Gronk from buffer to buffer measures in at 750 millimeters. And width wise from the locomotive's widest point, which I make the rods, it comes in at 250 millimeters. So with that in mind, you will need to leave a good few millimetres, probably about five, between uh, the edge of your sleepers and the base of your platforms to account for the overhang as seen here. Okay, so, as is tradition, the uh, manufacturer recommends you run your fresh out the box locomotive 30 minutes in each direction. So, got one of my coins. This one's the Bristolian. If you know where I can get any more of these, pl please let me know. Great British Discovery Tours. I do need more of these. I've only got the two. Right, so, heads forwards, tails backwards. No. Try that again. Yeah, I caught it. And we've got a tails today. So, Gronk is going to start in the reverse direction. So, um, still need a flag. Um, there's a magic man with a whistle somewhere. So, uh, right away. Obviously, I've owned my shunter for several months, just like the Flying Scotsman, so that was probably unnecessary, but, well, hey, do it anyway for the video. So the next one will be, like, genuine. Anyway, so, oh, it's now running, obviously. So it is now time for the test of strength. So, once again, may I present to you the Newtometer.
further before. Sorry, right. As the locomotive pulls on the Newton meter, you get a reading of how strong the locomotive is. So these things are similar to what you use to weigh your luggage when you go on holiday. But instead of a weight, we get the reading in Newtons, which I can then use to convert into strength via Mark 1 coaches. So, without further ado, let us begin the forward test. Right, the meter reading is coming in at, I make that 0 0.06. Uh, just stop it there for a minute. So because we have a coupling on the front and the rear, I'm going to test both and see if the strength is the same in both directions. Okay, ready? to see if these numbers are the same forward and backwards and by the looks of it I'm going to say backwards is slightly stronger on my 08 that's coming in at 0 0.08 newtons All right you can stop now Gronky compare that to the flying Scotsman's newton meter reading which came in at 0 0.28 that's a whole 0.2 newton meters more than the Gronk so the issue I have at the moment with the amount of coaches I have, um, they're still only reading a zero on my newtometer, so I can't say how many coaches the 08 can pull as a maximum. But I can confirm that the 08 can pull eight coaches without issue. So that does mean, unfortunately, the 08 does not come away with the title. And the retaining champion is, of course, Flying Scotsman. All right, so we're back down on the layout now. So next thing is the crawl test. So I think the only fair way to test the crawl for the 08 is to go over some points. So I've set up these wagons over here, and we're going to do a little bit of shunting. So... Let's get around the other side of the board, shall we? Right, so this is as slow as my O8 wants to go right now, so we're going to see if this works. Pants. Nearly made it. All right, let's, uh, let's drag you back and we'll try that again. Ugh, come on. Come on. No. I think it's going to want a bit more juice to get over the points. There we go. All right, let's go get the others. Oh, I'll cut them up. All right, you know what I've done here? I've done it on the curve, which is perhaps the worst place to try and couple this up. So it's just... Uh, Come on, there we go. Right, let's try that again. So, a little bit of juice over the points and at a normal running speed, it seems to have handled them just fine. Uh, switch these back over and we'll try it on the straight. Of course, both these wagons are on straight. I'm hoping there shouldn't be an issue with coupling. Yeah, it looks like they're engaged. Right, so, slowly over the point. Yeah, that seems to work fine. So, they're not 100% reliable over the points. Right, so for the sake of fairness, I'm going to show coupling up on the straight section. And as you can see here, it works absolutely perfectly fine. So, don't do coupling on your curves is the moral of the story here. So 
So if you like the look of the Hornby TT120 08 shunter, there are affiliate links down below in the description. Also available from Hornby are the DB Shinka version and the Great British Rail Freight version, Molly. All right, thank you for joining us for this review of the 08 shunter. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider dropping us a like or commenting down below. And also maybe consider joining our Facebook group to share your collection and be kept up to date with all things TT. All right, thanks very much, guys, and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye.